All right, hey guys, this is Will Mydell back with another quick tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how I took this uh, reaction video that I recorded today, uh, Mortal Kombat 1. And as you can see, I shot it vertically for my Instagram and TikTok. But I got to thinking with the new generative fill feature, the AI system that uh, Photoshop has, is there a way that I can use that to uh, stretch this out to a vertical and post it to my um, my YouTube. But now that I get to thinking about it, I'm not sure if it's gonna work because as you can see, my arms are in the way. But um, I'm gonna show you my idea of how I think, you know, I'm gonna go about doing this in the future. So what I wanna do first is get a screenshot with my arms not in the way as you can see right here. And I will probably want to shot like, um, probably like this right here. Well, I'm not looking too sclazed. <laughs> All right, uh, let me scroll and find another good shot about right here, I guess. So what I want to do is take a screenshot of this. If you don't know how to take a screenshot, you want to go down here and click on this export frame. If you don't see that, you need to click on this little triangle button here and get the camera right here and you just click on it and you drag it down into that box right there that way you'll be able to take a screenshot from there just click on export frame and as you can see it has a name and you can save it as a jpeg or however you want i'm just going to save it as a jpeg and you can also click on browse and select a different path for where you want to send it so i'm just going to save this as still shot and as i can see it's going to my picture folder so now that i have that saved I'm going to pull up Photoshop and I'm going to look for my picture right quick. All right, so I'm going to get that and drag it into Photoshop. And now what I want to do is click on the C crop tool and we're just going to Hold down uh, Alt, or Option if you're using Mac, and stretch this out to about the size of a video for YouTube. And we're gonna click the check button, grab the marquee tool, and we're gonna click inside of here, and then click on Invert, and we're gonna click on Generate to Fill, and hit Generate. And we're gonna see what Photoshop does. All right, let's see if we can fill in the rest of my office. <laughs> uh, this will be awesome. Um, if it does work, uh, I just have to remind myself to keep my arms in this actual shot so they don't jump outside of the shot. That way, uh, well, that's kind of funky right there. So um, let's take a look at the other options. It's kind of close, no cigar kind of close no cigar all right so I'm gonna try this one more time I'm going to delete that and let's see if we can just do a step by step let's say we do the top part right see if we can stress this out a little bit grab a little more of that light click on generative fill another thing I noticed too is that lamp which is on my right arm or your left if we're looking at it. It might be an issue too. I'm not sure if AI would know what that is. And I don't see that it created anything. It's something really weird. Yeah, that's looking kind of funky. Let's try this one more time. And let's just try the bottom part. Click in desk, hit generate. Maybe I have to just type in the prompt and let it know kind of what am I, you know, looking for. Maybe that'll help. Nope, no cigar. Okay, so maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> this was worth a try. 
let's see if we can do it this way and let's click on generate fill and generate and see if it can do something nothing that's strange I'm not sure why um why I wouldn't um generate anything let me just try the left side kind of getting there but there we go there's a desk let me just try this right here let's see if this will work let's try this that's all we're trying to do is just extend the desk out it's getting close Uh, almost. Maybe it's because the desk isn't, uh, let me click on this right here. Uh, office, wall, and lamp. Let me see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe it's the next video, I have to, like, maybe shoot it a certain way so that I can get um certain spots of the room you know in a right perspective or angle and uh that's pretty wild right there wow that's close almost getting there wow see now we talking now we talking come through a come through photoshop all right all right <laughs> all right now we can just get this right side to work with us come on um photoshop all right wall desk and uh bookshelf come on photoshop you gotta work for me you get in there you get in there you get in there Let's see, let's see if we can make this work, man. Ah, the bookshelf looking funky. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, the bookshelf. I don't, I don't want the bookshelf to be in a four. Okay, well, 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 there we go. We got the lamp, right? Now we can just get rid of this. Um, desk. Desk. Wall, couch, and couch, D desk, and couch by wall, generate. Come on, work with a player, man. Work with a player, man. Look at Grogu up there with Vegeta and Trunks. Come on, man. Give me something. I'm cool with that. What is that? A TV? That's actually cool because you know what? I could actually put a video or something right there. All right. Got a little computer and laptop right there. There. Now we talking. Now we talking. Now we talking. Okay. So let's see. Um. All right, no, no, I don't want that. Let's, let's grab a lasso tool. And 
Let's grab this. All right. And let's do laptop with monitor. This is amazing, bro. So the, the, the goal is, is to create this as a widescreen. And then what we'll do is we'll take this, bring it back into Premiere and use that as an overlay. Okay, that's a cool laptop. That's a, that's a funky looking laptop too. Um, all right, let's try this. I'm gonna just keep it simple, right? Plants. And... Let's just do plants. Hit enter. Cause you, every, is, cause once you use that as an overlay, you could just keep the vertical video in the middle and just mask out the rest. And this will just actually be, you know, still. But these images, I'm not too, I don't like that. Uh, these plants looking really funky. All right, let's just get rid of that plant. All right. Let's see if we can just give us the wall. Or just generate to fill and see what happens. Maybe it'll remove it. Let's see what Photoshop does. The error curve. Uh, wall. Type that. Now that's really nice, even though I'm not looking for another structure. And you know what's cool about it? Now that I think about it, I can actually, in Photoshop or Premiere, go and add light to either one of these lamps. As far as like, you know, just like adding like an orange or yellow glow to brighten it up. And um, it'll be just fine. Let me just get rid of it. I'm not feeling any of this. So... I don't want this to be a long tutorial. Remove. <clears throat> I just want to make a point. So based on whatever happens on this, we're just going to move on to the next step. As you can see, you know, the idea I had, you know, it's actually, you know, working, but you know, um, moving forward, I know we're going to have to frame myself in the shot a certain type of way to get the type of results that I desire um, and I'm not liking I said I was gonna move on but can I just get rid of this stuff please Photoshop can you just remove it oh well let's go back you know just get it out the way um, Remove from shot. All right, <clears throat> I promise this is my last one. <laughs> We're 15 minutes in. I want to kind of keep this under 20 minutes. And for some strange reason, it still wants to keep adding these. I don't know what this stuff is. What it is. All right, cool. I'll keep that. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to save as or export. Uh, let's just go to export as. Doesn't matter really. Because we're going to send it right over to Premiere.
and we're going to save this as a JPEG and quality high. Um, I think we just keep all that the same. I'm kind of curious about the uh, still shots uh, with AI. And let's just save it under my pictures. I am kind of curious to know about the color space though. Um, I was working on something a while back and when I was doing this Photoshop back to Premiere back and forth, um, the coloring was com was like off. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that and make sure that um, you know the color and space is the same or if it does make a difference so maybe let's go to sequence settings or let's just drag this let's just create a new sequence because I want to keep this as a reel for IG so the idea is to, to be able to do two videos at once right because I mean if I'm shooting landscape mode I'm not really gonna get as much detail or you know the shot that I want from shooting vertical but if I shoot it this way and use AI, I can pretty much create whatever studio I want, you know, essentially. So I'm just going to drag this uh, IG clip in, this sequence. And yeah, keep that the exact same. And we're going to scale this one down. We're going to go over to our effects control right here. Let's just hit 50, 50%. Well, bring it in about right there. And we're going to go to our pictures and we're going to drag the, the picture we just worked on. And we're going to bring it in. I think we need to put this on the bottom. And we're going to stretch this out. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we got going on. So we have me right here, which is still pretty cool. And you know what? We're gonna bring this one on top and we're gonna find we're gonna drop the opacity to about 50 percent until we line this up which should be about right there increase the opacity Okay, the color color space is kind of different. I think I noticed. Maybe uh, for our scaling, let's bring this to. Uh, let's take a look. Ninety nine. Ninety eight. Ninety seven. Five four. 39 oh, 542 541 okay so that's close <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's a easier way to doing this I mean it is the same size right let's just take for this let's just do 100 right because this is at 100 right that should be the same size right let me just click on this and drop the opacity. Yeah, it's the same size. So just keep it at 100, right? But in the next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to do it without my hands actually, you know, in the way. Because now with the video shot like this, you know, all we have to do is probably just create a mask. Um, or if you want to put this on top, this shot and just mask around um, myself like this you can do it this way or you could keep it on the bottom and just feather out the other clip let's take a look and see how this works we're going to invert that feather it and let's take a look where's my area straight to and it looks like I'm there, dude. I mean, so if I play this, look at that. 
That is insane. So basically, we went from here, from shooting a vertical shot to creating my own digital studio, in, in a sense, and stretching it out for a wider shot. Now I have a video I can use for Instagram, or TikTok, or YouTube Shorts, and now I can use this as a full video. But as you can see, you see on my arms? You see how they're fuzzy? And that's because my arms are being cropped out. So what you have to do, if we're going to do something like this, you have to be cognizant and you have to be aware of where your arms are going to be and make sure they're not in the shot. So like I said, I didn't think about that until I actually sat out and I was like, okay, let me start recording this tutorial. I was like, hold on, my arms, as you can see here, are out of the shot. So it's kind of a hard sell. Unless I zoomed in with both, let's say, for instance, we nest this all right and we just you know like increase the size and maybe dropped it down to about right here you might be able to pull it off but nope there's my elbow but as, as you guys can see that's how you can go from photoshop and creating a still shot like this and using a generative fill feature Let's go back here. We went from here to creating our own studio, basically. I'm actually <laughs> curious to, that if I just want to go sit somewhere at a random desk with an all-white background and just create my own, you know, environment, how would it look? But look at that. But that's it for today's tutorial. I'm going to keep exploring with this and trying different backgrounds, and I will share it with you guys. I hope you guys learned something, because I have. And um, I'll see you guys around on the next one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like and share. Follow me on TikTok at Mr. Modell and on Facebook and Instagram at Will Modell. See you guys later.